हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज निर्जर बुक्का फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग एस भोपाल अंडर द सेज ग्रुप इन टू सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द टनल ड्रेनेज दैट कम्स अंडर द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग इफ वी सी अबाउट द ड्रेनेज देन इट इज द वेरी मच नीडेड टेक्निकल टर्म दैट इज टू बी रिक्वायर्ड एनी वेयर आई दर इट्स दिस वी आर यूजिंग इट इन द domestic or in the real estate construction or in the use of the tunnel but specifically today we are going to discuss here about the tunnel drainage system as we are very familiar that drainage is the natural or artificial removal of surface water and subsurface water from an area with access of water drainage is just installed to reduce the ground water pressure on the tunnel linings now this is all all about the drainage if we are not providing the drainage then the cost which is saved during the construction could be needed for the maintenance of the tunnel if we are just avoiding the drainage because if there are any seepage or any other causes uh, through which the water is coming and the water is not getting out of the tunnel then it becomes very very costly affair for maintaining the on a regular basis or in, in the regular interval a tunnel without the open outward flow needs pump station for the lifetime of the tunnel and which will ultimately reduce your pumping cost of the and will also deteriorate the tunnel linings along with re- it will reduce the structural life of the tunnel now if we move ahead we let's us see how many types of drainage systems are available or why how we have to provide the drainage if we see about the different types of drainage system then there are two types of drainage system which are to be provided among them the one is the temporary drainage system and second is the permanent drainage systems if we see about the first type that is temporary drainage system that drainage system is provided at the time of construction why now we are going to see that in the next slide that it is provided to remove ground water from the tunnel at the time of construction if we are not providing this then it becomes very much tedious or very difficult to work for the tunnel construction as if there are if the tunnels are generally prone to the water seepage so we provide a uh, temporary drainage system in two ways one is the open ditch drainage system and second is the pumping system in the open ditch drainage system we provide the ditches or the galleries in the dra- uh, tunnel if they are having the natural or the proper slope in which the water is collected and removed through the open ditch laid with proper slope at some distance away from the place of the work and these open drains or ditches are constructed along the tunnel on both sides at the bottom or the side portion of the tunnel and this type of drainage system is very much suitable if we talk about the if we are talking about the open ditch drainage system it is very suitable for the rock bases and water resistant soil but where the there is no rock base or the soil is also very much having a tendency about to resi- to absorb the water then the open dra- dra- open ditch drainage system gets failed because the soil is also the water is percolating through the soil and it will take all the water and make the soil also very weak over there so for that system we move to a second system that is the pumping system in this system sums are constructed at regular interval of around 300 meters to 500 meter if we talk about the 300 to 500 meter that itself the image is very much clear that the tunnels depth or the tunnels end to end distance is very high in such type of uh, systems or in such type of the tunnel construction the water is collected in the sums we construct the sums or the small wells in which in at a suitable interval so that all the water gets collected in that sum and from that sum the water is pumped out by using any centrifugal form centrifugal form and we can just throw out the water or to we can just move the if the water is clean and we are using it in the very good we have constructed a very good quality of sum for the some tanks we have provided over there then this type of water could be very helpful for the construction purpose also so in that way the pumping system is also very useful and the open ditch system is also very useful depending upon the type of the soil in which the construction is to be carried out 
Now this whole system depends upon the this whole open ditch and the pumping system is very useful for the purpose of the temporary drainage system. Now when we have moved up with the construction now it becomes necessary to provide or to plan for the permanent drainage system and the permanent drainage systems are provided in the following three types. In the following three types we have first is that providing the central drains second is by providing the side drains and third one is by providing the corrugated iron shed and side drains now moving with this central drain system in this system as you can see the figure we have it is clearly shown that we are having the horseshoe or the segmental type of tunnel in this system the central drain is provided between two railway tracks like one railway track is over here and one railway track is over here or when we have only one railway track then it is provided between two rails and or under the road pavement also it should have sufficient capacity to control the expected water in the tunnel as before constructing it we or before planning for the construction we are have to work out that how much water is to, to be expected and from which end the water is coming in the tunnel and it should also be provided with the facility for inspection and the clearing also because if the water is running and we are have we are not having any sunlight inside the tunnel so it becomes the algae and other chemical attacks or the acid attacks are very prone in the uh, drain system so inspection manholes should be provided at a distance of 30 to 50 meters so that easy cleaning and no clogging can be done, no clogging occurs and the drainage also remains to be very effective this whole system is known as the, the central drain system now the second system that is the side drain system this system is very effective for single lane roads or the highway or railway tunnels where the volume of water to be drained is small that means if we are having the in the water that is coming for the drainage or that the seepage that is occurring the amount of water that is coming that is very small so we can adopt this type of system that is by providing the side drains as we can see very much clearly in the figure in this system the side drains are constructed on the either side of the railway track or in the road like if we see that there is it is provided that the modified traffic barriers both the side either we can provide the the curves and along with that curves this main drain is connected with the drain pipe of 6 inches that is clearly shown here that we are have connected or provided both sides the drains and this drain is just along with a slope that is connected with the main drain and that main drain is used to remove all the drain water that is whole process about by providing the side drains now this is the last type that is by providing corrugated iron shade and side drains the photo is a little bit blur but the image or the idea is very much clear this is provided in tunnels which in which water leaks from the roof and side walls of the tunnel by providing corrugated iron shade shape to the contour of the roof water is prevented from dropping on the pavement or the railway track this corrugated sheet guides the water to the side drains and is drained out that means we have provided a shade in which we have provided the slope that is made up of by the corrugated sheet roof and in the we have also provided the open space so that when the water comes from the roof of the if there is any percolation or seepage from the roof the water just falls on this corrugated sheet roof and after this corrugated sheet roof the water moves to the side walls or just drops to the side drains and with this side drains we have provided the slope either we are constructing we are constructing the sums if we are having the very high length it is not possible to prov obtain the pump uh, obtain the proper slope so we can provide the sump wells or any system like that so that we can collect the water and when that water fills in the in that well or in that sump it is uh, transferred or it is pumped out by using the centrifugal pump now let us recall once again that in the today's session we have 
gone through about the drainage systems of the tunnels in which we have studied about the temporary drainage system that is required during the time of construction and we have the permanent drainage system that is required for the final after the construction of the tunnel so this is all about the temporary drainage system in which we have provided the open ditch drainage system and the pumping system and in the permanent drainage system we have three types of drain system that is by providing a central drains by providing the side drains and also by providing the corrugated iron sheds and side drains this was all for today session and we'll be discussing more about in the coming videos and in the coming sessions thank you